You ain't got no job, and you ain't got shit to do. Welcome to another episode of the Payday Off Podcast. This is episode 59, right? 59? I think so. We're here. Listen, I told Terrence we'd be done by like 5.30. We are not even starting. It's 5.45. We're just starting. It's all good. Oh, we have to make sure everything is uh, in check. Go aesthetic. Our aura has motion. Don't do that. Your aura has motion? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> I go crazy. I can't even keep up with the new terms. Let's talk about demur. What the fuck is? Yeah, I don't I know what that is. Sound like some it, shit off the Sims. Demir. Demir. With I don't know what the fuck that Dem- means. Demir. Very mindful. Very demir. I don't know if y'all keep up with the TikTok. Trends. That's what that means for real. Very mindful. Very demir. It means like calm, peaceful, oh. or some shit like that. Matter of fact, let me look. That up. shit sounds stupid as fuck. Hold up. Let's see. <laughs> that shit sounds dumb as fuck. Let's see the uh, oh, God, okay. So the nigga. the textbook definition of demir is reserved, modest, and shy. So weird, demir. Yeah, I mean, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it rhymes, demir. Jamar, weird. you are in no position to call another nigga weird. I can promise you that right now. I know I'm weird. Everybody so weird. Old but screamo. That man. word is weird. Demir. demir. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, very demir. We starting off. Uh, I Face should probably start ass. off with rest in peace to. Rich homie Kwan. The legend. How many episodes have we started with a rest with a rest in peace? Probably about ten. Yeah, I was gonna say like a dozen yeah, at been, least. I, I don't think it's been a dozen. I, I would probably say it's been like been about ten. I don't think it's been like ten. I think it's been like nigga, ten niggas and died in the ten since y'all started. Nah, I may be right. Um in one year, like five people died. Yeah. And we'll get into the Rich Homie Kwan thing, but before we even started that, I actually wanted while I was fresh in our brain, I want to start on the uh um Forever. I want to start on the um <laughs> I want to start on the Big Sean yeah, shit. They, <laughs> what? what, what Took that nigga mad long and say that say <laughs> I want to start on the uh, Big Sean, the Big Sean album. Boy, he don't even say that anymore. He, says, he still does. He, he still just doesn't that? say it as often. Y'all can have that. <laughs> he just don't say it as often. He says. The reason it. why I said that because Terrence, when we were when I was on the last song, Terrence was like, "All right, can we play something else now?" No, 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 no. <laughs> the thing with let me get my Go whole ahead. breakdown of that. Um, Every song that was played sounds completely fine. Like, it was cool. It was good. It was, like, a thing. It was just, like, I don't know. I, I'm just, it's just me. Like, I'm just, like, in a, I'm, I'm weird when it comes to music. Like, I have, because I haven't listened to a full album in a long time. And albums that I have listened to, it's, like, on some just indie, like, just other shit. So, I haven't, like, sat down and listened to a rap album in a long time. And then with that... I just know what to expect from Big Sean, but every song sounded fire. I just feel like that's one of those things where I don't sit around with my boys listening to a full album. Not that there's nothing wrong with that. I just haven't done that. And that's not the type of album I feel to do that. That's something you're probably like on your own. Cause I'm sure you probably listen to it yourself. Like, I listen to that shit like, like you know, by yourself, like yeah. dissecting. I, that's like the, not the type you'll play. Like Jamari said, listen to it three times. I listen to it three night. times. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing, Big Sean's dope. I this, didn't is, this is no Big Sean hate. He's fire. He was part of my childhood, but just in it's all it, energies. Our music is all just energy, and then that was like on some. This is some. You shit went I, in the mindset. Yeah, to listen to, listen to that. I, I like go by myself and like listen to it, and hear the lyrics, and be like, oh okay, and it just wasn't the right like energy and moment. It sounds kind of corny, but nice. I mean, that's true. I've been telling yeah. you that for a minute. Where it's like, yo, like music's all really music energy. is weird because you can demonize. You can tell a nigga a, a nigga is. His album is trash based off of the vibe you were in when you listened to it. What was going on that day? Were you listening to it in the car? That really affects. In the gym with your headphones your on? Your judgment, yeah. Was someone playing it for you out of their fucking speaker on their phone? Yeah, yeah, Or JBL. It's like, you just don't know. So it's like, all yeah. that stuff plays a factor into it. Yeah. I, I get what you're saying, though. I just was, because you were like, yo, can we turn this off? Which I understood because I was like, we listened to the fucking shit for like an hour. I was like, and that too, like after like a fifth Big Sean song, I'm like, yeah, I mean, it's 21 songs. It is an hour long. So there's so many perspectives. I said this, I've been saying this for years now. I respect Big Sean as an artist, and I think Big Sean is fire. fire, Yeah. Yeah. Remember when we saw him in the airport when we were coming back from California years ago? Yeah, I was thinking about that. I was like, yo, I fuck with your shit, bro, because I do fuck with Big Sean. I was like, shit is hard. Uh, However, I've never been the biggest Big Sean fan where I'm like, yo, I'm going to stop what I'm doing and listen to an album of his. Just because I don't think he's trash. It's just something about it does not resonate with me. And it did not then. And it still doesn't. Now, when I listened to that album we just played, I was like, yo, this is good. Every single song was good. Yeah. Every single song was good. 
You don't got to be the biggest Big Sean fan to be like, you can't, let me like, just listen and be like, yo, this shit is fire. Yeah. It's just not, it more than likely it's going to be some shit that you're not going to go back and listen to unless someone plays it. You'd be like, okay, Correct. this is cool. That but would like, be a good album to play if I was with a girl. Okay. That's kind of how I felt. Because I felt like every song was chill, but like, like it, they were like songy songs. Like they were like yeah. crafted songs. And I, I, I fuck with it. It was... I, I think like it's like it's just not hitting at this moment because I think uh, I saw he's selling like I think he's projected to sell like twenty five k the first week. Really? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm not that. I, I truly think what uh, some artists do this and it works. Some artists do this and it doesn't. But I truly think what dictates uh, how we feel about him today and the weird kind of space he's in because he takes these like kind of long breaks yeah. to uh, drop his shit and he's like doing like random shit like. You know, having a not random, but like having a baby, like just taking years off. I feel like that kind of put a weird dent in his career in a sense. We're where, in a different era. Yeah, now. people like, yeah, he's kind of, I know, he has a certain style, and then you know how you have to adapt and shit like that. Yeah. Um, I mean, not saying he's not doing that, but with the breaks he took, and like everybody has their own like path in their career, like what he's doing. It's kind of with the breaks he's taking, maybe not evolving like to the newest <clears throat> sound. It's kind of like, okay, yeah, it's Big Sean, like. Okay. I like. feel like what, like, I'm going to talk about the album, but I feel like why he's projected to not sell as much first week, whether that, even though that doesn't really matter, but let's just say, like, even if he doesn't sell a lot, I think it's, and people are turned off by him because he hasn't really made any hits since fucking. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's, bro, it's been one, two, it's been about like seven years since he's made a hit. <laughs> that's haven't on him. made any hits is past a era. Like he's in that weird space now, where it's like, all right, that's what I'm you saying. You got, you got to think, what's the bulk of, like, where, the, where's the bulk of the listeners coming from? The young niggas. I'm be real. The young niggas is not checking for Big Sean. Let's what, be real. Well, not it's not, but it's not. Big Sean is making grown people music. People now. our age, but yeah. up. but my thing is like he really. It's not like he fell off. He took time off, but it's not even a time he took off because Kendrick took five years off and came back and so. Four hundred thousand, two hundred thousand. But his is like different. It's just like. But I'm saying Kendrick. Not, but that, I'm saying that Kendrick, was what you would call an anomaly. But I'm saying Kendrick. He every time he comes back, Chosen he makes one. a hit. Big Sean every time he comes back doesn't make a hit. Correct. That's the issue. Everybody' career because is different. That's what last I'm time when he made his last album, which was Detroit Two, there was no hit. He did the song with Nip, but that was more Taylor towards underground. Nobody talks about that album. That's my point because there's no hit on it. There's not one hit on that album. The only one that is deep reverent, and that's not a hit because they didn't play it on the radio. He hasn't had radio play since uh, I Don't Fuck With You. That's I'm what he say, I was about to say, was that his last what, hit? That was his last like yeah, big hit that crazy. I could think of off the top of my head that was huge. Like and that's when he that was when he was selling a lot. Now you take all this time off, you come back, it's like, okay, you got all this you drama had going. Had a hit after that, Bro, maybe. no. All right, I'm going to see you. Uh, not that I can, I not can, that I I can think, think of. One, either, one but man I, can change the world. But like that's nothing all. that's global to where niggas is talking about. I mean, about would you consider this is it is what it is shit a hit? Huh? What is that? Nah, it's not a hit. Um, that's yeah. a, that's new. Well, at he the top of the chart is I see. That, but after that is I don't fuck with you. That that is that is his best song. Yeah. That's his most popular song, and that was when I was in, bro. That was like 2016, 17, bro. We went through seven years, damn near, without a hit from him. And he finally comes back and he has, I feel like he has at least one hit on his album, for sure. That could go big and get radio play. But now you have to make, the, your label has to help you and push the song. If it's just, yeah. If it's just the fact not. that niggas is even still talking about him, that's even a good thing, yeah. I feel. Because he could have, your career can go so many ways and I feel like... Uh, you can do little things to like fuck up your career or even boost it. I remember uh, people at one point, don't laugh at me now, at one point, <laughs> niggas was saying Wale was in the topic of like the Drake's, uh, Kendrick's, and Cole's and shit like I that. I never believed that. I, but you remember that. I that remember was that. Thing. Yeah, like, but then really people, Wale. lyrically, yes. he was on some. He was on some shit for a second. He I'm was. not gonna lie. But then he started like getting all like butthurt and cocky and not just kind of like. Where, where do we talk about him now? He if he drops something, nobody's going to care. And that's why. Because he was like caring too much, self-constructive. Yeah, and yeah. like, No, I said he's self-destructed. He oh, destructed himself. Yeah. So, yeah. Your career can take a different way depending on how you just maneuver it and shit. And Big Sean, I mean, he had a little dense, like, like taking too many breaks. Because he's not a kinder. Let's be real. Like, he can't. He's not that anomaly where he can do some shit like that. But well, I think he still talked about so. I think the that's biggest something. issue with Big Sean that I've always had, and I that's but see, I always check because I know he can make music. Was that all the stuff that he's ever dropped 
he don't make hits ever. He's not a hit maker. That is the biggest. That is my biggest knock. He and I'm not saying he has to, but to be a mainstream artist, you have to be a hit maker, and that's why I think he's fell from that mainstream big four type shit to where he's now just he's more of an underground rapper. What's y'all's favorite tape by him? Big Sean. Yeah, that Detroit. Has- Detroit. Detroit, okay. Yeah. That is, but that's lie. the last, and that was a mixtape. That mm-hmm. wasn't even an album. Detroit was fire. Yeah. Bro, the Finally Famous, like the first and the second, bro, that shit was my. And I was never into those uh, tapes like that. I just, I used to like a couple of the freestyles he would do, but I was never like that's just crazy the, on Big Show. That was like, like I guess, because we're low, I'm a little I mean, older. No, like, that was my like yeah. high school, like, bro. There's like, a lot what, of people that like yeah, those tapes, you, but like. What was y'all favorite, what were y'all favorite tapes in high school? Well, nigga, I know what your favorite tape in high school was. Shit, I don't even know, nigga. There's too many tapes. Nigga, it was definitely a Tiger tape. High, bro. I mean, it could be yeah. a Tiger, but it could be Whisk Leaf. Nigga, remember, I listened to both of them. It was either a Tiger or a Whisk Leaf tape. We had the same tape. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> that, no pun Shit. intended, because we're talking about Tiger. It was same oh, taste. That's crazy. You can get a taste. Anyway. Um, sorry. <laughs> Dude, what was your favorite tape in high school? It was probably fuck, some Chief Keep My shit. favorite tape? Tape, not Final. album. Like mixtape. Tape. That's back when mixtapes was a thing. Like just one? That's crazy. Uh... I'm gonna go off just had the most impact on like my even my life probably like on some like something Wiz Khalifa related like I don't know if Kush and OJ came out Kush when I was, in, those, when well, I was in, high school, out in high school or like Star Power that all came Wiz out Wiz Khalifa school. was probably the biggest impact yeah. in my high school bro I literally started wearing camo pants yeah. I literally like, started, I started like, probably smoking I don't, yeah I don't even think there's a question at least in, in our era yeah. he was Wiz so Khalifa influential. is one of the most Kush, let's just say it's actually Kush and OJ was the was hands down the most impactful mixtape. Of that era, which is crazy, because that insane. that that was that was like at the end of an era, because yeah. there's so many things that came I, out before that, and no one listened to this. I'm gonna say, I, and I what, I what I'll say is, some people might argue with me on that because someone might say I think it was Dream Chasers Two. I didn't get into that. Dream Chasers Two was cool, but fire no. ass album. But no. I mean, fire ass tape. I wouldn't say that. But no. if I had to say for myself, I'm gonna go with uh, Cushion. If I had to pick a tape, then I would say No Ceilings. Cause that came no out serious, when, that came out when I was in middle school, bro. Uh, no, nah, that was high school. No, that was high. That was high school. No, soon was dropping like oh nine. I thought. I definitely remember it. I thought it was oh. I thought it was like in eighth grade or some shit when that shit dropped. I, I'll let you know right now. Let's see. Two thousand nine October. So yeah, eighth grade. Eighth grade. Eighth grade. Yeah. So if I had to say high school, I'm gonna go with Kushino Joe. If I had Personal. to say high school, I'm gonna say well done. Well done, was well done fire. was fire too. Well, well, nigga, that well shit, done. nigga, that shit is a classic. Yeah, well done was some shit. Yeah, <laughs> like, was yeah, I could say Wiz Khalifa, porno but rap. Like, I don't know which one because to me, I love them all evenly. Nigga said personal rap. The nigga all this, this whole lyrics about fucking all this. <laughs> I mean, well done, well done. Not nah, the first one. Nah. Or um, is it, I think I'm talking about bitch on the shit. Bitch on the shit. One of them. He was just talking about all. Every bar was about fucking. I'm it just probably like, was. It probably right, was bitch you got to give it to Tiger though, because I mean, this nigga still. He has a solid fan base still, and just like still doing his thing. Oh, he's good. Bro, yeah. his run. He's was in the A list like yeah. world. Like, yeah, his he's, run was crazy. Though. Once he looked linked up with the Kardashian type shit, like that kind of solidified him. And then Black China, like all that shit, pretty much kind of puts you in the conversation always. So yeah, you kind of can't even hate on it. Just being signed to Young Money put him in the conversation. Though. No, nigga. If that was the case, then where the fuck is Lil Chucky? Little where is Lil Twist? Twist uh, gutta gutta. Well, Where's Terrence? There's a nigga boy. named Terrence who was signed. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, look it up. I mean, shit. What happened to Young Money? No one. You don't even he hear about. You don't even hear about the label anymore. I got you're proving my point even more. I'm saying he's saying he was signed. <laughs> I'm talking about that means nothing. He signed for thirty thousand dollars. Even then, it did. even then, it really. I mean, it was cool. It was a cool thing. So it got you like it brought your name up, but still, you had to make good music. I feel like back then. Hit a W two. Where the fuck? No, seriously. Where the fuck is Lil Chucky? Where's Terrence? <laughs> Hit a W two. Hit a pay stub. <laughs> All right, sorry. I don't. I don't know what happened to any of them niggas. But you also don't hear about people signing labels anymore. So that's kind of what happened to it. That is people, people not are, true. People are definitely still signing their labels. What? No, what and it being publicized like, oh, I'm signing X, Y, and Z. Maybe not repping, that. They're repping they label the People still signing labels. Like, young, not publicized. Like, when niggas was signing, they, when niggas was signing the Young Money, they was repping their label on signing Young Money. They had chains, nigga. They rapped about Young Money okay, and their Okay, times songs. are different, but people are still signing to, like, you're niggas right. Ain't, niggas not, ain't rapping about, oh, I signed the Atlantic last week. What's your point, though? Like, they don't do that no more. Yeah. This is a new thing. They just don't. The only thing, the only labels, I guess, well. What are you getting at? Yeah, I'm just saying, what's your point of that? I don't know. I'm just making, I'm saying it. It was relevant. <laughs> so. It wasn't. Anyway, uh, back to this fucking Big Sean album. My take on this Empire album. Empire 300. Okay. My take on this album, 
I feel like it was well needed. I think it's a revive. I think I think he this album revived his career to where now he has to be more consistent. If he's more consistent, people will actually take him more serious. But I think since he's been up and down, up and down, he ain't really had like a consistent. I feel like a lot of his fan base has fell off. Do you mean it? Re, do you mean it revived him? Number wise, because only no, I think it revived his like career just, in general. It, like it, it, it shined a light back on Big Sean. You like, oh, now people are talking about it. Yeah. Sean, he, he did this. Oh, okay. Now you're back. He's back on your radar as far as like music dropping. If he drops something, if you actually listen to this album, you would be like, okay, you might not go back and listen to it, but now you'll be more alert next time he drops, and you'll actually be like, let me check this out. The last shit was dope. So I don't even know if Big Sean really needs to be like consistent. Anymore, I don't really think there's any point. I feel like he's like it's done, unless he's unless mm. unless he's trying to change his sound and try something different, which he's not. Based off of the album we just listened to, he clearly he's like I'm sticking to what I know and what I like, and he's making like just solid good music. If he unless he's trying to change his sound or like kind of be trendy, then there's really nothing else to talk about. Yeah, it's, it's just drop the album that. every three four years for yourself just for your fans who really fuck with you and kind of keep it pushing he's reached towards that age where it's like bro like you're unk yeah because he solidified <laughs> to where yeah he can yeah, he did his thing you had his, you had you had your hits it kind of, so when i it say like, like shit, it's like, yeah. not like that that album i'm not hating i'm saying like yo you had your time you did your thing now I, it's kind of you just cooling you I, would you would jenna i go bro like y'all have fun y'all still you can still drop people but gonna respect it and that's I it. Feel like, I feel like there's still something more. He can kind of do what I, he wants. I feel like there's more that he wants to prove, though. And you, I feel you, like there you is. Might be right. And I feel like there is more Does for him to trendy? prove in general. I feel like he hasn't proved himself. Like, yeah. he hasn't solidified himself yet. Like, because he's taken so much time off and dealt with you X, might Y, be and Z. Right. So, However, if he is not, I mean, if he's not trying to do something different, then I don't really know what else he should be expecting. Make good music for consistently for. For your fans, that, for that's, once, that's exactly what I was just saying. But I'm saying that would be what you would prove. You yeah. want to do that? But drop an album every couple of years for your fans, and that's it. I mean, that's all you can ask for me, yeah. artists. Every two years, every three years, drop an album. And, and after that, there you I go. I mean, it's it's not like on a Wiz level. Wiz, he literally solidify himself from just mixtapes. The nigga don't never need to drop. But nobody. Nothing. When is last time? I, when last time I, Wiz had a hit? I don't I mean, think he cares. I mean, he doesn't. Yeah, but he, like, he doesn't that, care to get hit. He's, I feel like he's in a good space too, where he's just like doing, he, doing kind of what he wants and not making, really listening to the what anybody says. And he, he's done enough to where he, he can do that. He can kind of do as he please and shit. And I feel like Sean's at that. But I be seeing like comments and shit. People are like criticizing. He's kind of like I don't know if he's like responding behavior. or really caring. But it seems like he kind of is caring. But I'm like, bro, you're not at that spot. Like, just kind of do what you want. Yeah. I don't know at this point. But you solidified. Niggas be hating on him. Wiz, you know I'm saying, nigga, I see a lot of hate from him. I'm like, damn. Wiz be making weed, high. selling weed, got his own liquor. He doing business. He don't give a fuck about yeah, none of that. He chilling. Anyway, um, my bladder is fucking. Go ahead. I broke my seal. Y'all niggas got me drinking. Go to the Ooh. bathroom. Well, I kind of did it myself, but. When you come back, we're going to talk about Rich Homie Quan, bro. Yeah. In the meantime, I'll let y'all niggas talk about a random topic. Okay. Gay Son or Dot Daughter? Who? Gay Son or Dot Daughter? You stupid. Who? Dot Daughter? We could talk about a random topic right now, T. I mean, T? Jamari. My name um, starts with a J. <laughs> My name starts with a J, baby. J Money. Hmm. Uh, Jamari, if you want to go get a massage, would you let a man do it? Fuck no. The the hell? Hell? I'm so cool. I'm cool. Strong ass hands. I'm good. Nigga ain't finna toss me the fuck around. I'm good. Okay, what if it's like a feminine man? He's no, soft. I'm definitely good. Okay, so I'd rather, have, being I'd, strong rather or what? I'd rather have a What's nigga that's straight give me a massage before I let a nigga that's a fruit cake give me a fucking massage. I'm good. At least I know the nigga that ain't gay. He ain't gonna try nothing on me. The other nigga might get have some ideas and be like envisioning shit like on some weird shit. So I'm I'm good. I feel more comfortable around a straight dude giving me a massage than one that's not. Okay. That's a fact. What would you do? I'm not getting a massage by a man. <laughs> <laughs> Me either. But if you had to pick between well, gay, straight, whatever, I'm gonna I mean, I'm good. I'm, I'm not going to get a massage in general, but if I did, it wouldn't be from a dude. Are you singing? 
A nigga singing. That's crazy. Nigga yeah. singing while taking a picture is insane. Yeah, I'm not getting those. I'm not getting no massage by no nigga. I yeah. can't do it. Mm-mm. I'm out. I'm gonna keep it a buck. But hey, respect anybody who wants to do that. Go f- go for it. Terrence, I- would you let a man massage you? If you went to a massage place and say, okay, yep, and you, we get you a massage, you go in the room, get naked, you know what I'm saying, get under the covers, and a man walks in. Nah. <laughs> He's I don't need that much of an explanation of why either. Like, I'm just, that, that should just sound crazy. I prefer a, uh, not even on no sexual shit. That's just, I don't like, a, I don't want a man touching that. I agree. That's, like, that's kind of crazy. We all, okay, we all agree on that. Yeah, Dan, they got you moaning because no, it yeah, feels. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, nigga, hit the spot, you. Uh. <laughs> Not even all on that. Just like, that's just. Hey, but imagine that. Imagine nigga give you a massage and you accidentally moan because it felt good. Yeah, and it's like, that makes me question, like, but then it's quite. I, like, yeah, I, just, I just, super uncomfortable <laughs> is the main thing. Super uncomfortable. I'd rather just. Hey, that's how Fix crazy. that solution and it's just crazy. have a female. And a female can look anyway. I'd just rather have a female. Like. Facts, facts, facts. She could be fat with a wooden leg. And no teeth. No, she got some hands. Right. Anyway, uh, Rich Homie Kwan, rest in peace. Dude, that shit caught me off guard. Yeah. I was confused. Um, it's tragic. That shit. Uh, is there, has anything else came out about it? It was just an overdose? Yeah. Apparently it's just an overdose, bro. And I saw something about his girl, like, that day she went to uh, put the covers over him because he thought that she thought that he was sleeping mm-hmm. and then uh, they like she like went to go drop off kids at school or something and then came back then noticed he was like in the same position and then uh, noticed no pulse and like foaming at the mouth and then yeah after that there's a phone call and then he, uh, the 911 and then he passed yeah. and that's probably so traumatic for her holy fuck I can't even imagine imagine your loved one you see him like knocked out sleeping and then you're just like oh they're sleeping and then you go back and then you, the whole time like oh they were dead yeah for the whole night damn there that's what it seemed like it was during the day like in the morning and shit but I'm saying like he was sleep he slept oh, probably, there overnight yeah. so he never got up I don't know all that at man, all but through the whole night yeah um but there, there's that one talk about um because, like, all the news sources are posting old interview clips uh, and, like, memories and flashback clips. And then there's that whole thing that circulates every time I feel like a certain person passes. Like, bro, why are you uh, posting this, monetizing off this so quickly and blah, blah, blah. And I have my opinion of that. But, like, what do you guys think about that in general? Well, someone, if someone. Uh, like Vlad. Vlad. You know, the no or, jumpers. Yeah. Like, like a 30 minutes after. <laughs> I mean, why would you not? Nigga, I'm a business person. It ain't like, it would be different if it was like one of us and I, let's say I died, nigga, and Leroy started posting shit about me, just like monetizing off of me. Nigga, that's weird because it's a friend. But Vlad's not necessarily a friend to them. He's a business person. He's looking out for him. He knows people are going to watch clips because just like people are going to go click on his album and why it went number one, niggas is going to go click on the interview because they just want to see it. So he's smart. It's, it's from a business perspective, it's smart. As long as there's nothing slandering him, it's just something to remember him by. Why would you not? You want people to remember him. So I'm going to post these old clips of him. You're going to click on them just like you're going to go click on his album. So why, the he- why can't I do it? You're going to go click on the album. That's exactly what they did. So I don't see anything wrong with it. It'd be different. Like, but like I said, if they were slandering him in interviews and he posted it, okay, it's different. Yeah, it's the same thing. Media outlets. Are, are, it's the news. That's my perspective of it. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's like it's the same thing as if you know CNN posted it, mm-hmm. um, or you know Fox, whatever. You know what I mean? So it's the same shit. That's how I look at it. Um, but yeah, what kind of what Jamari was saying is like if they're slandering, or it's like if you got a guy who dies. I mean, if you got a guy who dies of an overdose, and then you got a let me let a, me uh my bad because. I'm trying to see both perspectives of it. Now, go off of this situation because this this actually happened uh, when he passed. Who was it? I think it was like Matt Hoffa. You know that like New York Matt Hoffa, Matt Hoffa, whatever. Yeah. It wasn't necessarily slandering, but it, they posted a flashback clip of him just talking about all the drugs that he takes and shit, and how like uh, how he's like he's like oh basically he was like talking about different stories about when he was like like booted off Molly and then like how he can't do that but can't do this and how this shit makes him tweak out a lot 
Now, could you possibly understand maybe how with this argument, how somebody can maybe be like, damn, y'all posting something about the nigga talking about this. That's a little eerie. That's when the waters get murky, but again. And it's not slander. He was like kind of just yeah. happy and just talking about, yeah, I can't do Molly like that because yeah. it made me go crazy like that. And then he dies from over to like. But unfortunately, that's the same type of shit that like the news would do with like slander mm-hmm. or somebody. They're going to post whatever's relevant to the situation. Mm-hmm. The difference is, is that when you're talking about a media outlet, you have a name attached to it. Vlad, it's you. Math Hoffa, it's you. Academics. It's you. Terrence, for payday off. It's you, bro. You posted that. So they can holler at you versus getting right getting at a at a large corporation who's doing the same exact shit. I'm not saying it's right. That's All I'm point. saying is like that's that's kind of what it is. So it's it's business. If you don't if they don't know that person directly, like if they don't have a direct relationship with that person on a like on a personal level. All you are is just another person who died, and I'm just posting something that's relevant to re- relevant to your death. That's it. It's business. It's no different than if you, even though, he, like, that's like us talking about, let's say, Rich Homie Kwan, for example, like, two years ago. Granted, we didn't interview him, but if we're talking about him, nigga, we're going to post clips of us talking about Correct. him, and it's no different. Yep. It's the same thing. It's not pretty. I'm not saying it's the most ideal thing, but it is. that's just kind of what it is. I don't see nothing wrong with it. That rich guy. I applaud tape. the niggas. I know. It was so guy. fucking good. I'm not gonna lie. I was listening to Freestyle today. You probably heard me singing it like today when I walked in. That shit was ahead of its time because it came out in 14, early 14. Mm-hmm. And then their dynamic, bro. I remember you put me on that shit in the Chili's damn. in the Chili's parking lot, bro. It's so good, bro. You put me on that shit. It's so ahead of its time. It's so yeah. ahead of its time. And Freestyle, I was listening to that shit today. I'm not gonna lie. I was just like. I, my, my, I, I ain't started crying I, was, I just teared up a little bit Like fuck bro R.I.P. that nigga bro nah, That shit's like, crazy bro The way his career That can be talked about Is a little is a little iffy with him And Doug and shit like that But Jesus Christ he Just just an Atlanta legend Just yeah. R.I.P. him Ugh. And I need people To stop getting pissed off Which camera I like anymore It's like this five now Damn we got five money five. now no. uh, I, I can't stand when people Pass Artists in specific, and they're like, "Yo, you ain't been bumping Rich Homie Quan music the past how many years, brother?" Oh yeah, brother. Listen, yeah. If, if someone passes, if goddamn, I don't know. Give me an example. Fucking, I don't know. Lil Wayne. I hate to speak it to speak it into oh existence. Oh my god, the world will go crazy. Lil Wayne. I'm not listening to Lil Wayne right now because Lil Wayne. I'm not. He's not relevant. I don't listen to him. But if yeah. he passed away, if I want to reminisce and go back and listen to some of his music, it just kind of be like, damn. R.I.P. Yeah, it, bro, it's not that deep. Man. Low key, like, because that's why like, I brought like that up. Because a lot of things of like when people pass, people get triggered. Like, like came up like with the uh, what I just said about the fucking whatever the monetization, and then like there's that side. Then there's people saying that like y'all act like y'all his brother. Like, damn, I ain't no, no, I ain't hear nobody talk about him. Blah blah blah. And I'm just like, this the man just let's talk about that. Like, yeah. I don't know. There's a, there's a lot of different like those. Things when people pass, like bro, you can still about that one particularly. Show love and respect for someone when they pass away by playing their music or, you know, posting them, whatever it is. Be like, yo, I had a memory of this guy, R.I.P. Whatever, life goes on. Yeah. But it's like, come on, like, what are we talking about? This shit is just so. It, we go through the same thing every time an artist dies, just because they weren't the most relevant. It's like, bro, I ain't man. gonna lie though. The funniest thing on because Twitter is fucking stupid. The funniest thing I saw on Twitter kind of about that. Nigga, some nigga said like, "Damn, uh, R.I.P. Bro, like, fuck. My here's my favorite songs by him, and then one of them was hit the Quan. <laughs> and then somebody was like, "Bro, like people go mad like, shut the fuck up, nigga. Didn't make the Quan. The one nigga was like, oh, my whole childhood, I never knew hit the Quan was about Rich Homie Quan. <laughs> he said, oh, hit the Quan when he did that rock then. <laughs> I was dying at that. I'm not gonna lie, but." Regardless, RIP that RIP uh Rich no, facts. I ain't, yeah. I wasn't listening to that nigga before he passed. I still ain't listening to none of it. And, and that, I did and, earlier when they, like that, he was actually making songs, but like I'm not gonna go back. Me you heard some type of way though. No. You definitely know no, some I'm, hits. I'm, you know I'm, at least three I'm, hits by facts. No, I'm saying I listened to him when he came out. But what's then your, once he fell off, I just stopped listening and I don't go back favorite, to the old uh, stuff. What's your favorite Rich Homie Kwan song? Mine or his. Yours. Either too short, which we'll play out there. Shit's fucking fire. Too short by Rich Homie Kwan is one of his, and then um, freestyle off the Rich Gang tape. Yes, That's sir. probably one of his best uh, verse. He was like talking. He was like talking just some shit like on that. Yeah, 
All I'm gonna say is they don't know eh, what I've been through. He got some old classics, like Atlanta classics. Man of up. the Year is the shit though. Oh yeah, Man of the Year is fire. Yeah, yeah. Now nah, that whole that that whole tape. Well, Which I think one it's, I, it's called uh, I Promise I Will Forever Go Hard or some shit like that. Oh, I heard of that. Yeah, yeah. Um, get the fuck out of my face. Was yeah, get too. the fuck out of my face. Yeah, bro. That's when I was first introduced to Thug. I'm like, young. I was like, young Thug. That's his nigga. <laughs> that was the first Think one? about that name when you first see it. Yeah. Young Thug. Eric Castro showed me, we were in his parking lot of his apartment. He showed me Stoner. I was like, young Thug? Yeah. Stoner? Yeah. I was like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I even heard the song. I was like, Jesus Christ. This wasn't hip to that sound. It was shock factor shit. Yeah. But then, damn. What he this did nigga, after is crazy. When I saw that shit, this nigga, get the fuck out my face. I was like, oh my God. I was like, <laughs> bro, this nigga thug started an era. Yeah. Anyway. You saw you saw that. Post Malone give him in his like, praise? Like, you nah, saw that clip of him? No. Nah. Oh, he had a uh, podcast with uh, Theo Vaughn. You know, like this Post Malone, he was like, like blown. He was like, bro, uh, thug is like one of like the craziest melodies and like lyrics I've, I, I've heard really in a minute. Is, He's like, and then he like mentioned some random song. He's like, this is a song by him and PB Longway. I forgot what it's called. Like some old shit. And he was, I'm like, damn, Post Malone. Post Malone him, he, Longway? He's like, why this fuck? Just like, his melodies are just, I go this way with a melody, but he's on some like, just giving, him giving him his praise. I'm like, this is why I can never hate Post Malone. He's just. Yeah, he's such a likable guy. He's just, yeah. And he knows that. Like, I can't even imagine him listening to that song. Like, yeah. But anyway. Yeah, yeah, you can't hate on that shit, man. The so the okay, album. so with this whole ritual McQuan thing, I'm gonna segue into the whole situation about just drug use in general within the music industry. It, the hip, the hip, hip hop. That's that crazy. The hip, the hip, the hippity hop. Um, <laughs> drug use within hip hop in general, rap music. Let's talk about these whippets. The fuck is a whippet? You you, you know what that is, bro. You took the words on my mouth. Oh, you you these you fucking sleep. whippets, like all this shit. It it gets kind of crazy because it's like we glorify. I mean, or we listen to the music. We're like, you know, what I'm saying like, he, Percocet, Molly Percocet. Like, think about that shit. And then when someone dies, we're like, oh my god, like why so soon? It's like, bro. So I only be like, why so soon if a nigga gets shot? I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about drugs. Oh yeah, nah, I don't be feeling bad. Bro, hip hop's the most. Contradictory, um, you know, just yeah, just it's, fucked up. It, just it, it's fucked because if you say something, people are like, "Why are you saying that?" You can't like if, it's, a, if a nigga died from drug use, I don't feel bad, unless it was like, I don't know. I'm trying to think of a drug. No, there's, I don't feel bad. If you get shot or like some tragic shit like that, cool. But if you rap about cool. doing drugs and you die from doing drugs. How how am I supposed to feel? I mean, I'm not supposed to be like, oh my gosh, why? It's like like that, and, and it's and it's kind of sad because technically speaking, I can say that 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 applies to Mac Miller too. The nigga was doing drugs and he just so happened to get a bad dose. And I mean, can you really be sad? It's sad that he's gone, but it's not sad because how he did, how he left. No, here we are. So yeah. and that might upset people, but I mean, shit. I like Mac Miller, but I'm not gonna be like. Why so soon? It's tragic, but you had to know if you knew he was doing drugs. It's not. Yeah, you see it coming. But he also didn't rap about or sing about drugs, as far as I'm concerned. As as far as I know, he just rapped about being depressed. So that's a little different too. Yeah, he was it. Yeah, but those niggas that rap like if Future died from doing drugs, nigga, you rap about the shit. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's a weird uh, parallel, honestly. I don't think there's a right answer to that no because right addi answer. addiction is a real thing. And that's another sensitive topic that we'll never probably know about because we don't do drugs. Uh, but yeah, you can look at that as a cry for help, but it's just like, what can we really do? Can. I guess like if I'm sitting here, like just saying I'm depressed, 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 whatever, talking about it a lot, posting a lot. All you can really do is just acknowledge it, talk about it. Show but, support. But show support. But at the end of the day, if, if, person, at the end right? of the day, if I, like, you know, we could say we saw it coming, but I don't know. You can only do so much to stop it or prevent yeah. it. So that, that, that translates to music, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So at the, at the end of the day, we, all we can really do is just listen to it, enjoy it, have our opinion of it. And we don't, we don't and this is different, and we don't know these people, so 
we can't even really talk to him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. no, I got you. It's just like we were just saying, just hip hop, rap music in general is just so fucking contradicting. Where saying. it's like, all right, we got all this music about killing, drugs, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, women, shit like that. But then when some crazy shit happens, everyone everyone acts like we're so surprised or this shit. Now. It's, it's, it just, it's, it's, it doesn't make sense. It's weird. But niggas, is, the world is weird. Niggas is weird. Niggas are cry wolf I agree. and play victim. So, I mean, it's no different than that. And we're hella homophobic, too. Which is Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Which uh, I don't got no comment on that. I was, I was going to talk about that, too, because uh, NLE Chopper, you saw he w- went... Um, I briefly saw that. What's up? Is he actually? What's up? What's going on with that? No, he's not gay. He just went to a pride event, and, like performed. Okay, what's not to you, but like, okay. You don't think anything. About, think, you don't think anything of that. I respect that. Was he doing like some freaky shit or like? No, he just, just, just out there just performing. He just went to a pride he event. Just, he showed love. That just shows like, me he's just comfortable and just really not giving a fuck. I, I fuck with Nelly Chopper. He's I'm funny. He's funny. He is funny. I don't like a song by him, but he's funny. Fuck the music part. I'm talking about like I, I done seen like some like interviews of him and shit. And he's just cool. like he's cool. He is like that would be a cool dude to meet. meet. Like he kind of seems like a real like res- like despite his music, like a polite and respectful ass nigga. Did you watch his Bobby Altov one? Uh, I did watch a little bit of that. He gave a great take on mental health. Yep. and he just seemed pretty cool. I was like, this nigga funny. Yeah, and I watched um, like him on. He did the twenty v one shit. And just like I, I don't watch, no, yeah. I can't watch. I've been watching some of those. The way he was this. talking to some of the women, I was like, "Damn, this nigga be trying to like he's like a nice guy." Okay, you know I'll, I'll tune into that. But yeah. that's that's that twenty of you watch. Like, but yeah, no, nah, he. I, I was just looking at he. I saw he was doing that. He did a Jamar. He did a concert, a gay concert, a concert for gay people. Oh, I know for the LGBTQ. Oh, I know. You, you, I don't you know. ain't got to tell me. They get. I, what do you I, mean? You were there? No, but my my take on it. <laughs> Go ahead. I mean. I don't think anything of it. I don't think I don't think he's gay for performing at a pride event, nigga. I just look at you a little different because you necessarily you support the shit clearly. And me, I can't say I do. You got you. So that's that's my take on it. I mean, I'm not gonna go into depth because nigga, I ain't gonna get y'all. Can- I ain't gonna get y'all. I ain't gonna get y'all niggas canceled. I don't. Think, but I, I think- don't. Push away. I, I my thing is I don't have an issue with the. People themselves, I have an issue with the community because it's so like, especially as a black person, I have an issue with the community in general. Like they get rights towards them. People like if just the, what's the word? The the pool them niggas have is in, insane. Like nigga, if you're gay, lesbian, trans, whatever it may be, if you're part of that community, bro, them niggas have hella pool. So what, bro, you could get canceled for some shit, you get demonetized for some shit, you could get fucking, you get fired for some shit. I got you. Like, it's almost like politics. That's, it's, it's literally all, that's how strong of a pool they have. So it, you feel like the whole NLE shit kind of frustrates you just because, just because it's pandering towards the community I mean, where, you, where you feel like they have all this pool to drag people down yeah. who have no ill intent. Yeah, and it's just the community um, the fact niggas is brainwashed, nigga, uh, being part of that community is pushed so heavily in front of children, and there's no, there's no repercussions for it. Niggas just allow it to happen. That's not okay. I don't fuck with that. Are you speaking more of the the trans thing? I'm, t- I'm trans speaking on saying? the community in general. Okay, okay. just I got you. That's the, all just the community in general is getting pushed in front of everybody. And all these kids, and it's just super publicized, and I don't like that. I never liked that. It's one thing to do it and be whatever. I don't give a fuck what you do, nigga. That ain't got shit to do. That's between you and God, nigga. But as far as, like, being commercialized and publicized and having all this power, and y'all niggas, like, that, I don't like that. So I don't, I don't, res- I don't respect him for performing in, in front of them because that means you support it, and I'm not a supporter. Just like the Black Lives Matter shit, I'm not a supporter of that either. You don't got res- you don't support everything. So. No, I'm always open to hear everyone's opposing opinions. So, what the fuck happened right there? There he is. I was like, someone out. It like went blank and said some words. We can cut this part. It's all good, bro. I got some drink in my cup. Uh. Dame Dash? Dame Dentures? That shit was funny. 
Um, what was the source of what led up? Like him and Fifty were kind of feuding. Yeah, but about, like, what's new at Fifty Cent feuding with somebody? That's facts. Just funny. He's such a legend for that. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck they were even arguing about. <sighs> I know it led up to something. It was like um, there were. Oh, I think it was like on some like. Uh, there was like a Fifty Cent was talking about Dame Dash way back in the day of how like some something he told him fucked him up. How he said. Uh, we can do all of this business wise, but a million dollars ain't shit to me at the end of the day. Like whatever, fuck it. And then he told Fifty Cent that he was like on the come up, and then Fifty Cent was like, "I'm from uh whatever whatever street Harlem or whatever the fuck Queens. Like a million dollars is a lot to me. I'll never forget when he said that. Like like the niggas like doesn't know what he's talking about. Blah blah blah. And then that's that's what preceded him to respond. Just like some back and forth like that, which led up to the whole. He's like, okay, we can go um. You show your you show your network you show your network that's when that's when the shit fell off. There's a way more to that probably, but I know that's the premises of where it started, which we should have like looked that up before. But um, yeah. After that, now at first I thought his fucking whole teeth fell out, but was it his actual just grill? Or some I shit? guess it was like his grill or some shit like that. I guess. But then he actually his grill fell out at first, but he had his teeth in. But he actually has fake. He teeth. Had, yeah, fake teeth. Yeah. So like, cause and you he, saw he the went shit with that, the trolling shit. He pulled it out or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You saw Pause. the shit that Troy sent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I was like, wait, what? Yeah. So I don't know. That was a uh, fuck. I should have looked up the whole story, but yeah, yeah, that was an interesting one. That's what I took from that. Um, Jamar, did you see that? Dame Dash though. No. Nah. Dame Dash's dentures falling out. No, nah, I, I think when I was driving yeah, over here, I had seen some shit, and I had I had seen like it looked like some teeth fell out, but like I didn't actually watch the video. Yeah, Dame Dentures. Well, man. it wasn't even the teeth fell out; it was his the nigga grill. Ain't got no, he ain't got no teeth. Well, that was after he like did that as a as a troll. But like I was saying, the thumbnail is like he ain't got no teeth. So I was like, what what did, what happened? That's original, yeah. Before that, but yeah, that one right there. Huh. Yeah, no, I ain't even. I never even peed it. You see, the weekend, the weekend got an album coming. Huh? The weekend, he got an album coming out. Pre order. That's the cover. His face. That shit look like the album finna be fire. Weekend is dope. The biggest artist in the world. Speaking of that, I was watching an interesting video. I don't know if you if you care about numbers, it's kinda interesting. Jamar can I have a chip. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Interesting video on what? Somebody made a video that kind of went a little viral in the algorithm algorithmic world in YouTube of uh, the most streamed albums from 1960 to 2024. We should watch that after because if you're into like numbers and like what was popping and it because the video it can uh, depict like what was popping. Uh, around like the eras and shit, like the sixties was like a, just a bunch of like Elvis and Beatles, and then like in the eighties went to Michael Jackson, and then like now it's like on some like either it's either country or Spanish, and that yeah. that can just open up a broad topic of like what's becoming popular now, and then like because um you you see like in in like eighties it was Michael Jackson, and then like in the early nineties it's like Nirvana and the rock shit, then it, like in the late nineties it was like Tupac and fucking Biggie, and mm-hmm. then like in the early whatever it was like a bunch of pop. And it's just interesting to see how music kind of shifted to the most pop. It literally shows that, like, what was popping now. Because what do we think is the most popping now? Like, at one point it was rap for, like, the last mm-hmm. like last five years and back. But as we're seeing now, like, kind of country is kind of moving country, shit. Country, honestly, is definitely doing some numbers. Right? And, yeah, and Spanish. And it's, it's like Spanish, Spanish whether we yeah. see it or not. Like, ba- like the, think about, like, Bad Bunny was kind of doing this thing for the last, like, three years or whatever. But... Think the about most it, you're seeing more, you see more Spanish like Hispanic themes, uh, like clubs, yeah, or country type yeah. clubs, yeah. The most the most streamed album this year you'll never expect it is Shakira's album. It has see, like fucking fifteen billion streams or some shit like that. that. Yeah, it drop. And like Spanish, we of course we know that's one of the most popular. But like, damn. And then like, it's just we should watch it. You literally see like the genres change shift of like what's popping and shit. I just thought that was that's one super of those interesting. Things, also, music nerd shit. That's one of those things where it's like, as an American, you think like football is the most popular sport until you no, realize soccer, soccer got a grip yeah, on the fucking world. Yeah. Where it's like Spanish is so vast because and it's there's just, so many Spanish people in the world, and it's such a like digestible kind of uh, sound to where it's like everybody fucks with it. Yeah. Because you're thinking about it. Like, not everybody fucks with hip-hop. Not everybody does. No. no. 
know what I'm saying? Of course, a lot of people do, but of course, but uh, not everyone does. Where it's like, yeah. <clears throat> you can play Spanish music, anyone can kind of like go, and you can play that in any setting, and it's never. That's because niggas issue. don't know half the niggas don't know what they're saying. Correct, and they don't have to. They just like the beat. So it's it's just a little different. I get you though. It brought up an interesting because I was watching. Uh, this kind of correlates to uh, just the reach and shit. Um, academics was uh, reacting to something because Christian Ronaldo he made a YouTube. I saw that nigga had like fucking 50 million 50. in the first couple days yeah. or some shit like that. And then uh, Aiden Ross, he was just like, he's like, okay, that's dope. But I bet right now if LeBron made a YouTube, he'll surpass that in like a couple days. And then Academics is like, I don't think you, so. You know, yeah, Academics is literally like, you're so far from reality of like how, how, how this reach is. Like you were all the way completely wrong. Like he, he just went into like, LeBron has a reach of like, United States as a whole, and then like maybe a couple countries. China, but, of course. Yeah. Like the basketball, soccer is vast. Ronaldo, right? like, in, then he went into like when when whenever LeBron plays like uh, stadiums and shit. That's like what, like sixty k, maybe under a hundred k at the most. He's like when these soccer players they they play these like uh, tours and stadiums. Like there be like like a quarter of a million people there watching this shit. Like he just talked about, like he broke it down, like their reach and shit. And then that just goes to show like with Spanish, with football, like yeah, bro. it's three times like the, just, the reach of like a basketball or hip hop or some shit like that. Well, like, soccer is worldwide. Football correct. is American. It's yeah. literally tailored to America. We're trying to reach out and become more like and soccer. Lot, and, and a lot of people but, in other countries, of course, like football. They like football. But at the end of the day, soccer is soccer, bro. There's so many leagues of soccer. Yeah, soccer really, is literally the yeah. biggest sport in the world. Correct. And then on top of that, you have the World Cup. Yeah. The World Cup. Yeah. So it's like it becomes a kind of a thing where people represent their countries as far as we're the best at this sport, we're the best at this sport, we're the best sport. Football is just all the teams, the big teams, are just centralized in one spot. It'd be different if we branched right. out and had teams in Europe and we had teams yep. in fucking Mexico or I don't know, Asia. Like, but we don't have that reach. Baseball isn't even baseball is bigger than football. Do niggas even play football in other sports? Like legit NFL football? No, they don't. It's either like rugby or like they play rugby. Yeah, they play rugby. Yeah, nah, yeah. But crazy. like baseball has is bigger than basketball. Like, basketball is a bigger sport than football. I can't, I can't think of any uh other I can't think of any other country that plays American football, but Ronaldo versus LeBron, as far as like, like status and who's gonna have a bigger fan base and who's gonna get more subscribers if they start a YouTube at the same same time, Ronaldo's gonna he's gonna get way more. Yeah. Like it's not even gonna be close because Ronaldo is the top two, arguably mm -hmm. top two greatest soccer players of all time. Some people say he's number one, some people say he's number two, mm -hmm. but he is that, and he's still playing. So. I got you. Um, <laughs> what? Lil Dirk tweets yesterday. Hip hop ain't what it used to be. Yeah, bro. Uh, what comes to your mind? You hear that? Okay, then change it. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I was gonna say some crazy shit. Go ahead. Nah, that's snitching. Not that crazy. He talking about snitching. Um, like, like literally, like, what do you, what do you mean, like? Hip hop's always changing. Like, do something about it if you feel that way. I guess. Like, why are you? I guess. Like, I want to know more. That's that's that kind of a bland statement. Correct. I'm saying based off of that bland statement, kind of. How do you take that? I feel like, like it's okay. About like, you really only get a feature to get popping. Like, that's okay. Like, Damn. do something about it if you feel that way. Like, I'm sorry. Lil Durk's cool as fuck, but like, I don't know. What do you mean by that? Like, I feel like it's straight. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking. Terrence be having them sassy ass responses. He always rolling his eyes. Like, what do you mean? He be like, he be like, uh, like, what do you mean? Like, <laughs> he be like, he be like, uh, like, oh, <laughs> like, like, what are you talking about? So are, damn sassy. You trying to have shock value? Like, what are you talking about? I don't know. That's why I was asking you. I feel like hip hop's in a straight place. I guess that's the broader question. Like, very gay. But, um, that was a joke. Anyway, um, I don't feel like hip hop's in a good place, but uh, me. But I also in that tweet, I feel like he's talking about they're not being rats. Rats not being being a rat isn't. That's what I think he's talking about snitching. I think so? Yeah, I kind of. I, kind of think I mean, what right. else would he be talking about in hip hop back then? You got crucified for snitching. That's like, what no we just one took about. you serious. I just said this earlier when I was like, Gunna is on Big Sean's album. I was like, people seem to not really give a fuck about snitching no more. If you if you're relevant, no. 
And then I feel like when he's talking about rapping, he, rap music or hip hop, he's talking about street music. But it, did, but it did. What made a difference was is that gun and snitching allegations are so debated versus like it would be a lot different. I think if he was in a room saying he did it, he did it. Like in an interrogation, like if he room can put his way, like if they call him to the stand in this in the trial, he's and he not has going to the stand. But I'm saying if he does. And he gets up there and he doesn't like do what the other niggas have been on the trial doing, like fucking with the prosecutor, saying, I don't know. But he actually got up there and was like, yeah, I was with him. This is what happened. Oh, yeah, I heard X, Y, and Z say X, Y, and Z. Like, then now nah, he's clearly snitching. Well, are we talking about Gunner if he's snitching or not? Yeah, we're talking. Well, I was saying, I was, this was segueing from Lil Dirk's statement talking about hip hop and what it used to be. Basically, we're implying that we think he's talking about snitches. Yeah, I think he's talking about people being snitches and, that, and them getting famous off of it. And it's popular in the hip-hop world. No one gives a fuck. I mean, he could be talking about the music, but, I mean... Well, let's assume that he is talking about the music. If he's talking about music, I mean, it's not what it used to be. He wouldn't be wrong. Well, okay, what does it take to get it back? That's what I said. And, what, and when you say it's not what it used to be, what, what did it used to be? <laughs> it's always what changing. It used to be? Like, what are we talking about? I feel like men ran hip-hop, so you men don't run hip-hop. That that's what changed. Men aren't on top of hip hop, and it's been like that for about two years now. Mm-hmm. So hip hop isn't what it used to be. Women run hip hop. Women have never ran hip hop since it started. They used to just exist in hip hop, like the little Kims and the Left Eyes and shit like that. They used to exist in hip hop. They didn't run hip hop. They yeah. never went. That never was a thing. Men have always owned hip hop. Now it's just kind of, eh. Niggas don't. It's like niggas don't give a fuck. They just like I'm gonna make my music. I'm gonna keep out the way and let these girls talk about this bullshit that they talk about. And then so it's not. It's not what it used to be. Cause like, what do we ride around listening to? I mean, when you turn on the radio, nigga, you hear you hear you hear bullshit. You hear girls on the radio. Nah, facts. Like nigga, that's not hip hop. Like that's not what hip hop used to be. I feel like women have always been in hip hop though. I said they've always existed. They never ran it. They've never, there's never a time in hip hop history that women ran hip hop okay. and have been the face. Well, is that an issue? When, why is that an issue? I say, I'm asking you if it is an issue. It is an issue. Why? Because what's wrong with hip hop? Like that is that's like that's like women can't women oh, wait, can't be at but the I'm face saying, of hip hop for a little way, bit. That's like white people being the face of hip hop, nigga. That's something's wrong. T- chime in. Men's men, you you realize hip hop? Chime in. Hip hop was <laughs> created by. Black people, black men at that. And it wasn't rapping. It started with the beats. And then it got into the words. And then, because New York created, essentially, hip hop cre- was created in New York. New York City created hip hop. So, therefore, from there, it, it elevated. Women still never read, even in the 90s, nigga. Hip hop, you had Lauren Hill, you had, they didn't run hip hop. They just existed in it. Little Kim, nigga, in the early 2000s. That's crazy. They existed. But they mainly, they ran, R, in my opinion, women ran R&B in the early 2000s and 90s. Men didn't. They just existed in it. They has a lot of great singers that were singing back then, but they didn't run it. I think men took over hip hop, I mean R&B, when you had people like Usher start coming out and singing in that. X, in that. But like other than that, bro, no. Nah. Men have ran hip hop for fucking, what is it, 50 years now? That's when they say hip hop started? Some shit like that. You said a lot there, buddy. I mean, it's up for debate, nigga. You like talking all over the place. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. My main point was Lauren Hill had a number one album when that shit came out. But what, she didn't what did say about that. She wasn't the face of hip hop. Yes, she was. No. When that album come out? What year? Oh, like ninety seven? Yeah, no. Tupac was still the face of hip hop. She was in and that nigga was and that nigga died the year before. She was in the conversation of the top rappers at that time. But that's one person. But what's your definition of running hip hop? Running hip hop is one hip hop in the conversation. Right now, you can name probably five female artists popping versus you can't name five hip hop more male artists that are popping. What? There's not five male artists that are popping more than five female artists. Well, right now well, in this well, day, okay, to this well, day. The, well, five, let's let's go off Point. of five female artists first and foremost. Obviously, Sexy Red, mm-hmm. Glorilla. Yep. Lotto. Lotto. Yep. Megan Ice Spice. Style. Yep. And who else? Megan Thee Stallion. Megan Thee Stallion. Stallion. Okay. Um, I, I'm, this is, I'm, I don't know what you're going to say I don't even get men. your point. What's your point? 
my point is back then, nigga, I can name five dudes. He's saying, yeah, he hold on. He's saying that he can't name five male rappers who are popping more than the five top female rappers right now. That's what you said. They're not. Oh, that's true. So yeah, but that's saying, my, that's my point. So he's saying back that. Then, but you know, I'm, I'm hearing you said uh, a fe- a female rapper has never like kind of been doing her thing, running like. No, shit. I said hip hop was never ran. But what? Oh, predominantly. What, yeah, female. It, yeah. That's oh, never been a thing. That's okay, what I you were mean talking by, all over the place. I thought you meant like there was never no super popping no. as female rapper. No, like, no, no like, they just didn't run. Oh, like they didn't run they it. Were, they were like the dominant ones. Yeah, okay, 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 men okay. have always been okay, there yeah, until that's, now, that's and that's why I say hip hop isn't what it was, and that's that's the biggest issue. That's okay. that's a bad thing. Okay, hip hop is in an awful state. I mean, shit. Who's the top male rappers right now? I don't know. Nobody. I feel like it's just in a weird space and we're waiting for something new to pop out. Because yeah. you think about it, based what? on what Jamari's saying, okay, there was like, I'm not going to start from like the early 90s and shit, but like in the uh, early 2000s, we had what? Like Pharrell, fucking Jay Z, Kanye, fucking Clips, all sounded different doing their own thing. And then what? 2010s, we have the Wiz, Currency. I'm just skipping decades. Wiz, Currency, fucking couple years more, we have. um. Like ASAP Mob, Ah Future, really like shifting shit, and then there's a bunch of like people who either sound just like it or just like kind of influenced by it. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it takes to not have these type of combos where we're like, oh, it's it's in a weird space because the last re- crazy generational shift we had in music, really, if you think about it honestly, was like X Peep Juice kind of like shaping the emo sound and like this this like hardcore screamo and that was like what probably like seven years ago 2016 yeah. recordedly the best year like in the soundcloud era and type shit and top, now there's nothing there's nothing it's just like a bunch of street shit and now all the top uh male rappers is kind of low-key not underground it's just some but street just like, shit like underground yeah. shit not really it's just weird we've seen it before type of shit that's how i'm breaking it down and we haven't seen nothing like really to be like we haven't seen like an a side mouth we haven't seen like a like an off future we haven't seen like an x in the last like seven eight years probably and that's why i feel we're in a weird space where it's like i think that part is going on we have like fucking sexy red and like gorilla and shit that's not really doing i feel like it's because music is oversaturated hip-hop is oversaturated in my opinion well, I yeah think you can make a if you've seen all this sound now and then you can just go in your room make a tiktok about whatever the fuck's trending and then get like be famous the next day yeah that's obviously going to be like oh i can do this too so let me just it's gonna make a million different people do the same shit so yeah, there's a lot of music you got to take that into consideration too because it's just this internet world is just on some other shit like, but but what i'm saying is like male hip-hop is oversaturated not women that's what i'm saying but i'm no you didn't say that. What I'm saying is, male men in hip hop, that version, that side of hip hop is oversaturated. That there isn't everyone like kind of blends together. Because if that's what people, I'm saying, everybody and their mom is rapping because they know it's easy to go viral. But I'm saying that. women aren't. There's not a lot of women popping because it's not oversaturated. That's why you only have a handful of women artists that are popping right now. Versus like, bro, there's not like there. Yeah, of course, there's always gonna be underground rappers that are women, but they're not gonna pop. Cause they're not rapping about popping coochie and doing this and I like that. Like they're not talk, they're not really rapping about that. So, I mean, I don't feel like I feel like that's what's wrong with male hip hop and why no one will pop unless they have already been in the game. Okay, well, it's funny because we we're saying this when we just came off one of the, uh, I mean, debatably the most historical rap beef of all time, and it was between two men between two males so that, that was a highlight that was literally that's the highlight of male hip hop in the last 4 years and now drake has been dropping he has some been leaks dropping. and shit like that they're not even leaks he put them out i mean yeah if you want to call them on his on his, on his uh leaks. fake in, i'm going to call it his I'm fence a, I'm, the reason why i'm saying leaks is they're not like official drops type shit he officially saying? dropped them so i got you i'm saying now, like it's not on some like Debut album type shit. I'm trying to say. Oh no, they just songs he like made. He, just like, and he dropped them. He's like, I'm gonna put these out. Fuck it. Let so the he's hear doing it on some like mysterious type shit. I'm trying to say. Yeah. So and he low key dissing that nigga Kendrick in him, but as he should. He is. It's, they're subliminals. Oh, well, kind of subliminals, mm-hmm. but you know who he's talking to. He's talking to all of them, but yeah, especially in No Face, he was talking his shit. I was like, oh, I had bro, I had to play it back. I said, oh, okay, yeah. 
So three, well, what are we, three, four months away from the beef now, Terrence? I don't even remember what happened. Sounds about right, though. I think about like four months after the beef. A couple months, for um, sure. How, how did it age? I kind of feel like no one's talking about it as much anymore. Terrence? You all right? Who you, t- you texting your girlfriend? <laughs> um... <laughs> How did how did the beef age four months after? How do you feel about it? I feel like no, definitely it put Drake in a weird spot. I feel because Twitter's still talking about it, like the outcome, post effects of it. Uh, but it put Drake in a weird spot. Whether no or anybody wants to admit it or not, the nigga definitely put a dent in his career. Let's be real. If you would have dropped this, I don't think so. Nigga, if he would have dropped these hundred gigs of footage two years ago of all this shit, mm-hmm. plus, bro, the nigga, I don't know if y'all niggas noticed, this nigga has dropped like 10 songs in the last two months with these like Charlie, whatever pop star girl is like under 10 songs. Have we talked about it at all? Has anybody said anything? Do you hear it in clubs? Do you hear any like impact of it from where Drake has, when he drops, if he drops three songs. Two and a half of them bitches are gonna fucking we're gonna be, we're gonna be talking about it. Yeah. Nobody, I even heard a fucking person talk uh, okay. about that shit, bro. No, you want me to talk about? It? I'm no, talking about you, it. I got you. So bro. if we talked about that and posted that two years ago, compared, I oh my god, I wish it would have like had a comparison of like dropping it two years ago or a year and a half ago compared to now. Nobody's talking about that. And what I'm trying to say, Kendrick cooked his ass and he has a dent on his career because of that. Now, I feel. He's just trying to like test the waters, maybe, but I don't know, bro. Like, based off how this shit ended, he she should have at least just waited. He, this is the only thing of what I'm trying to say. He should have at least just waited, maybe like six to eight months, then start like just maybe teasing some shit or do some like strategically pan- planned shit that he usually does. Cause, and don't get me wrong, he's the goat. I'm I'm sure he can drop something and it'll go crazy. Like I hear kind of people talking about the Dirk leak that came out or some shit. That shit sounds fire. And then I don't know what the fuck happened with the little Yachty shit. Like that was a whole sampling error thing that happened. But obviously I'm just main thing. I'm saying, bro, Drake It's Drake dropping 30 minute long footage of him recording. Take care. Like people, this is like people's childhoods, like the top, Biggest artist in the world dropping how he made like hell yeah fucking ride and trope, bro. Niggas are gonna be like, whoa, like, this is cr-. nobody's talking about it, bro. Mm-hmm. Because uh, because not, of not like us, not, not enough. Niggas yeah, is I, like not like us, bro. I'll literally because you. of that shit. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you this, like I see, like, fuck out of here, bro. I believe that he was already because the numbers show he was already on a decline as far as people listening. Um, but I think now I didn't know that's that. not true. I it didn't know. No, the Scorpion was his biggest album ever, and he's been on a decline since but that. He, Called a decline, nigga was still the biggest artist in the he, world. No, no, he's no, he wasn't. And he still is getting stupid was, streams. That bunny was the biggest artist in the world. But I said one of the biggest artists. I'm in the world. gonna say he was on a decline, and I think now after that, I don't believe he'll be able to come back and do anywhere close to those numbers. I think those numbers are gonna get split in half because it was already split in half. If you go to Scorpion and then you go to the new album, nigga, the numbers were cut in half based off sales so nigga first week sales that's what i'm going based off because i don't know the exact sales the overall sales but first week sales for scorpion was like eight hundred thousand. well he ain't gotta like do another eight hundred thousand no, album but still i'm be saying at the top. like that, Lil Nas X gotta make another old town road to still be like but what i'm saying there's not a lot of competition like, out there i will yeah. say it's really just because at this point it's really just between drake travis scott and playboy cardi other than that i mean i can't really think in terms of like the hip-hop space who's really competing up there with these niggas but what i'm saying my point but what the point future maybe not even future actually no not even future futures don't even solidify but he's not competing in terms of like first week numbers not like these niggas but i'm saying what but my point is what i'm what i'm getting at is those numbers were cut in half before the shits nigga those numbers are gonna the numbers that he gets first week are gonna cut in half raps is falling off in a decline in general but i'm saying from the kendrick shit nigga there's a smudge on it like you were saying the numbers are gonna get cut in half again because the less people are gonna want to talk about them it's for not for me the beef created politics because now if you listen to drake i kind of look at you weird if i like kendrick i'm like oh i'm talking shit i might not go listen so i feel like the beef swayed a lot of people from wanting to listen to Drake. They, of course, niggas still fuck with Drake. And of course, he's still one of the greatest. But niggas, when you say, when you want to, when like, I listen to Drake all the time still. So I don't give a fuck. I, I don't give a damn. But 
I feel like when you talk about Drake, there's politics now involved with it. Like, oh, you listen to Drake? That's what I'm saying. He put a dent in his career. To where now people are going to check it. If he drops, people go go check, but they might not. There might not be as much replay value now because people don't really care to listen to you all the time. They're going to go back and listen to your he old shit before shit, the beef. Bro. He altered his shit, right? He definitely put it definitely put his whole discography in a weird place for a lot of people. Not me. I can't say that for me because I don't. His even discography fuck. don't it don't bother me. But, I'm just talking about like anything new he wants to come out with is not gonna do the same numbers, regardless on how good it is. That's and I've noticed that he's okay. basically not really going about it to like get away from all that shit, like of how Drake because I feel like he dropped too soon and he's just like doing random. Seem like a out of the spur moment shit, like dropping like random leaks like that. I I I, I think that I, I feel that Drake is more strategically planned than that. Like you feel as like far it's as, coming off like he's just trying too hard to be yeah, like, oh, I, here I, goes this, here goes that. Yeah, goes I ain't no marketing genius, but it, it just seemed like he should have waited until because you know how like when shit goes in the media, your name gets slandered. The best response is no response. Just Correct. wait and then like, I mm-hmm. feel like he should have done that. And then he's like, what I think is gonna happen. I, I think it's. I think Drake is because he leaked. He put out all those hundred gigs and shit. Nobody. I. I fuck. No. I believe like I believe he's done. I believe I don't believe like he's done because of Kendrick. But I think he noted. I think he's gonna just take his steps back. He's gonna finish out his deal. But I don't think he's gonna continue rapping and making music after that. I don't believe that because you what the, the the stuff that he put out is like stuff that you put out when you was done or about to be done. Because nigga, it's a bunch of memories. You want people to go back and check these out. I don't believe after after he finishes out whatever he's left on his contract that number of whatever albums he has put out. I don't believe he'll continue. I think he'll stop. I think he'll retire. Shit, he already passed the time where he said he wanted to retire. So I don't believe he'll keep going. I, I, for, I think I, I I I man I hate to say it, but I feel like he uh he, he got Ja Rule from the look of it. It looked look, look, <laughs> like, look like this nigga got more steam in him. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm gonna say. But, I feel like yeah, he's dissing Kendrick on his fence the yeah. quote unquote pages. Oh, I don't. I don't I, know about that. But I think he got Ja He said, "What did what he post like on some some clip of some NBA shit? Like it's game two or whatever mm-hmm. like that. Like like nah, he has no. He has more steam." Let's um, all right, I'm gonna say this last thing. We're gonna wrap this up. Um, top five, twenty, top twenty five. Ice Spice. <laughs> that silence was golden. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, it wasn't that funny, but it kind of was. Niggas are horny. Oh, top, was... top twenty-five most influential creators. Who? Twenty-four. You want me to what? name them? Top twenty-five. No, I don't want you to name them. Nicky Avocado. Let me. Nick, Nick, I saw him today. I was I saw that know. shit. He lost all that weight. I don't even. That's know. a weird. That shit yeah, crazy. that shit was. I don't even know what the question I don't was. Think our, it's not a question. I'm just talking nice. about the top 25 most. Rolling, Rolling Stone just dropped a list of the top 25 most influential. Oh, I saw that list. That list is fucked. And most influential what? Creators. Creators? Yes. Like YouTubers? That list is fucked. G- creators in general. I mean, take that as you will. Streamers, YouTubers. Uh, Music number, people? No, no, no. Like online creators. Wow. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Like type shit. Academics? He's not on the list. That's what I'm saying. That shit yeah. is Joe fucked. Budden? I think sometimes you gotta realize that there is more to this than hip hop. Is Farnham on there? <laughs> you say Farnham? Is Farnham on there? Wow. No comment. <laughs> Number 19 is RDC World. That's what I will say. Uh, they should be on there. Yeah. Let's see who's number. Kai Ju- Sinat. Uh Number 13 is Drewski. What are we measuring this off of? If you I don't like, know what oh, the fuck I'm measuring. Like, number it's 11 it's is Anthony Fantano. Because Complex was pretty solid. I don't know who the fuck that is. You know who Anthony Fantano is? Music, biggest music nerd. Number 10 is Theo Vaughn. Number 9 is Keith Lee. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how creative he is, but. Number 5 is Duke Dennis. The that fuck? list is I weird. Was interesting. Nigga, that's stupid as fuck. You have to just. Yeah. What are you like? What are we basing? I don't fucking know. Dude, so Dennis is cool. I so just know Kai, I Dude, Dennis Boy, too. So it's Kai, so not, not top five. Number three is Mr. Beast. Number two is Rhett and Link. I don't know who those are. This is a are. political list. Number, number one is Kai. He's paid off. I'm about to say, Kai would be number one then. Yeah. 
He's the most boy. He's I, but see, I don't. He's not the most influential. He's just the most popping. That's what I don't get. Duke is actually inf- influential because know. of risen up he's, girls and like shit like that. Like on a young mi- on a young aura, people, basically. Yeah, it's the, the young the people. He crazy. is actually influential to young niggas. N- young niggas look up to this nigga. They like, oh, I want to be like Duke Dennis, nigga. The Duke Dennis meat ride is crazy. Needs to be studied. Hella needs to be studied, bro. Niggas be fucking foaming at the mouth over this nigga, bro. His demure is unattainable. Right, bro, that nigga, bro, that nigga get bitches. Needs to be studied. I'm trying to be like Duke Dennis. Now, let me stop. I need a whip Duke it. Dennis is just that nigga, bro. He cool. Yeah. Amp. 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 Yeah. I mean, I don't know what to say about that. So I don't like, like the it. list. That's just That list is fucking trash. That's all I'm going to say. Definitely trash. I should have been on there. Yeah. We'll wrap this shit up, man. Uh, let's make sure... Um, we pray for Terrence. Why? There's a lot of sports betting going on. Um, a lot of money being tossed up. A yeah, like a hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm smart with my sports betting betting management. Cause I won't I, lie, bro. I'm sh- cheap. That shit is kind of like be tempting. Where it's like, damn, like this low key. I and you be knowing. Yeah. I don't be knowing is a thing. Yeah. You be knowing, so I feel like you have a better chance. And like, if you just do it str- strategically and like you know how to, yeah. you know. When it comes to just football, though. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying football. football. If you have one sport, like, what else do you need to be really betting? <laughs> nah, facts. Facts. <laughs> facts. Like, I, might, I might bet on some uh, college games tonight, maybe. I don't know. Because you got it, bro. I'm like, I'm not What, on the Hard like, Rock shit? Yeah. I can't bet on there. They won't let me. Why not? I don't know. I genuinely don't. Bro, I try to sign don't up. Talk, no, you can't, say sh- you can't say shit about being banned from nothing. Okay? So, don't. Okay. You can't say, nigga. Okay. You, you banned from Uber, nigga. I don't know how that's possible. Wait, you got banned from Uber? I tried to fight the Uber driver. No, I'm <laughs> uh, it's no. I, I was joking when I said that. It's like something with like a uh, pa- uh, old email on my old account. I can't get it back. Some type of shit. And they have a locked out of an account, like of an email I don't use no more. Gotcha. Yeah, but Hard Rock. I don't know. I, I tried on dating site. Uh, I tried to sign up that one time when the Ryan Garcia fight was this going nigga on. Probably owes him money. <laughs> and, but I've never, I've never, I've never signed up. And nigga, and I, and I signed up that downloaded the app for the first time. I signed up, and the niggas, I can't get in my. I don't have an account. It won't I let can me. See a nigga about. <laughs> Bro, I was confused. I was like, wait, they ain't let that nigga in at all. Yo, I mean, like, I'm like, yo, this shit dumb. Like, so I just be on prize picks. Bounce. <laughs> prize picks? Yeah. It's, it's, you can do just, what? It's the same thing as Hard Rock? Mm, probably not. No, but you, you, it's the only difference is you bet on like fucking, what, oh, you bet on like yards and like yeah. points Got compared it. to like you, on but Hard on, Rock, you bet on money line. You bet on the score touchdown first. You can, it's only like yards and like under over type of thing. Facts. Yeah, facts, like facts. I can bet on who win the game on fucking Hard Rock probably. Nigga, you, you can bet on who's gonna fucking touch the football first, yeah, like you, on the. You can't do that shit on offensive what, play of the that game. Shit. You That's why I don't like that shit. shit. Yeah, you've been a lot of weird. Shit. I, if I could bet on hard rock, nigga, I'd probably make bread off that shit betting on sports. Well, you can bet on when that college game went into overtime. You can, of course, bet who went to overtime and overtime. That's like a crazy ass. That shit's like plus, like always, any game plus mm-hmm. like five thousand. So mm-hmm. I don't know if a nigga ever won that, they're on some other. Nigga, shit, I like. bet five dollars at uh, every game on every game. They gonna go to overtime. They gonna go to overtime. <laughs> Even if they don't ever go to overtime, nigga, I'm gonna win one of these damn things. I think he was saying that when they do go to overtime, like who wins? They, the, the, yeah, the who bet wins? is like fucking the bet. insane. Like you can go on there. You can bet ten dollars, probably like a fucking three hundred dollar payout. Uh, like, nigga, I do that shit. I bet three dollars. I bet three dollars on Hard Rock on everything. Just a little stupid shit. Yeah, make bro. some money. So anyway, um, <laughs> let's go ahead and wrap this up, man. Like a condom. Uh, we appreciate y'all tuning in. I don't even know what camera I'm looking at. Two words. Just that's the main camera. Rich gang. Okay. Um, rest in peace, rich homie Quan. Uh, we appreciate y'all tuning in today. Um, Jamario, ooh, some ooh, bullshit. Ooh, we about ooh. to go and hang out the rest of the night. Watch this Colorado game. Get some drinks. Vibe out. Just like that. That sounds fucking. Free my nigga Tory. <laughs> Stop. Free my Just dog. Just like that. We out.